Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a blood flow. Last video, we learned how to animate a camera inside a blood vessel. And in this video, we learn how to create a blood flow. Let's start. To create a blood flow, we need a blood vessel, an RBC, red blood cell, and a particle system which will emit the RBCs inside the blood vessel. How to create a blood vessel or an RBC? You can click the links that appear in the top right of the screen. To make the particle system, select Add Mesh a UV Sphere. Hit 7 for a top view, scale down the sphere, the emitter, and move it to the starting point. Let's go back. Okay, I think that's it. Let's name the sphere RBC's emitter. Okay. Now, if you click play, nothing happens. So, go to particle properties, hit add particle system, and as you see, the number of particles that will be emitted here, let's make it 500. Here we have the starting frame and then uh, the end frame. Let's make it Let's make 400 and here's the lifetime let's play now okay as you see the particles are emptied by the system and they fall down that's why we have to go to scene properties and turn off gravity let's see now so our particles are emitted randomly and not they are they are not under the effect of gravity now we need that our particles should be rbc's that's why select the rbc's emitter and scroll down select sorry particle properties scroll down to Render, select object. What will be this object? Scroll down to instance object and select RBC. Let's see now. So our RBCs are emitted by the sphere. Okay, so as you see, we need to scale up the RBCs. That's why go back to render and make it for example 1.2 okay 0 0.12 that's good rbc's are also emitted randomly now to allow these rbc's following the pathway let's turn off emitter this is our pathway inside the blood vessel select it and go to physics properties Hit force field and from the type select curve guide. Let's see now. Turn on RBC's emitter and play. As you see, our RBC's are moving inside the blood vessel, but they are so fast. That's why to slow down the movement of RBC's inside the blood vessel, let's go to the particles system. RBC's emitter and select it. Lifetime make it 150. Let's see now. Okay, our RBCs are moving inside the blood vessel slowly. But uh, we want to make this flow more dynamic. That's why. That's why. Go to Particle Properties, turn on Rotation, and scroll down to Render, hit Object, turn on Object Rotation. Let's see now, 
click play as you see our RBCs are moving in a good pathway uh, I think uh, it's better to uh, zoom out the camera to allow a better view that's why select camera hit camera and let's decrease the focal length okay 35 is good go back let's see now how does it appear so our blood flow is very good now thanks for watching this is our video for today see you in next video inshallah